You're late, Smallville. Am I? Sorry, there was a- Bomb in the factory in Tokyo. I know. I work for the newspaper, remember? How could I ever forget, Lois? Mwah. Everything's packed for us to spend the holidays with your folks in Kansas. Not exactly how I'd like to spend Christmas, though. They're my parents. Plus, they love to see you, too. Yeah, I know. And I love your folks, Clark. But just once, just once, can't we spend the holidays in Metropolis? There's so much for you to see in the city on Christmas. It's gorgeous. The city lights, the shops, the- Hold that thought, Lois. I'll be right back. <sighs> Typical. Don't worry, ma'am. I've got you. You're lucky I was in Metropolis when you fell off that building. <laughs> Honey, luck had something to do with it. What? What did you just clip around my neck? Ugh, it, it feels like- Kryptonite? You got it. What? What is- Down, boy. It's done, sir. Excellent. Great work, Mercy. I'll have to be sure you get a bit more padding to that Christmas bonus. Lex. Luthor. A pleasure to see you as always, Superman. I think we need to turn up the power on that mind control collar. I can't have any more of those outbursts. Hatter, if you would be so kind. <laughs> With pleasure. <laughs> Nightwing, remind me who these guys are again. Intergang. International Crime Syndicate. Grade A wackos. Couldn't you have just tracked the location of the gun shipments and burned the building down? You know that's not how we operate, Huntress. We don't kill. Can't blame a girl for being helpful. Is that all of them? What the hell was that? Did I not mention the King's Place Super Beast Cinder Gang makes? No, you glanced over that part. Oh. My bad. <laughs> but he's really not that big of a threat against the Eskrima sticks. You couldn't have used those things against those thugs? Where's the fun in that? <laughs> but hey, it's Christmas Eve. We can always get these guys cleaned up and hit the town. If you're free for some late night patrol, of course. <sighs> Excuse me a second. My boyfriend is calling. Yaku? You all set for tonight? I have our gifts wrapped right- Sorry, Helena. I'm gonna have to cancel tonight. Something huge came up. You'll never believe where I am. You can't be serious. It's Christmas Eve, Q. The Batcave. You have to be joking, because I'm here with the ex-boy Wonder right now. <clears throat> yeah, just finish up tonight, or else I'm not spending Christmas Day alone. So it looks like your calendar. Don't get any ideas. We're on patrol. That's it. <laughs> I can live with that. So, looks like I'm making yearly vacations to Gotham. Couldn't think of a better place in the winter. Except maybe Hawaii. I do love these chats as well, Batman. You have really intriguing anecdotes. Focus. There's really a time I'm not. Then you're aware that Superman has gone missing. No differently than any other year. I would assume that the Man of Steel has a family and loved ones as well. He does. But they haven't heard from him either. <laughs> so you actually know. <laughs> that will be a question for another time. Why me? You have Robins, Nightwings... Huntress. Careful. I need someone who's not associated with me. I can't be sure, but Jervis Tetch has been moved from his room in Arkham to Stryker's Island at the beginning of the month. The super criminal prison. For a small scientist with a love for Lewis Carroll. I ask the same... question. I'm rubbing off on you. So, I tracked the source. 
Turns out it was an order that was pressed through the justice system by Mercy Graves under the employ of LexCorp. Whenever Superman is involved, Lex Luthor is never far behind. Exactly. Tetch disappeared during transport. With Luthor's resources and Tetch's knowledge of mind control, it could mean disaster. So you need me to go to LexCorp? I have another means of handling the information from LexCorp. I need you to go to Arkham. If there's someone who knows Jervis, it's Alice. Questions Journal, December 24th. I hate Arkham Asylum, and yet, I seem to be coming here year after year. I need to find a better line of work. Alice Pleasance, poor girl. Jarvis Tetch, a.k.a. the Mad Hatter, had obsessions with her. Has an obsession with her. Due to her physical similarity to Alice from the Lewis Carroll books, and his sick delusions of living in that fantasy, he stalked, tormented, and drove the poor girl insane. The answer from the GCPD? Lock them both up in the same facility. According to the Arkham records, he's still constantly sneaking notes and breaking out to her cell to talk to her. I could see why Batman needed me to come to Arkham. He's not exactly the most welcome presence here. Not that this place doesn't give me the creeps already. I give myself some very, very good advice, but I very seldom follow it. I give myself some very good advice, but I very seldom follow it. I give myself some very... Miss Pleasance. <gasps> oh. <laughs> I'm sorry, Miss Pleasance is who I was, not who I am. I can't go back to who I was or else I wouldn't be the person you see. <laughs> and that person is Alice. You can just call me Alice. Right. Alice, I have a few questions for you. I won't take up too much of your time. I'm afraid all I have is time. Oh my! Your face! Or your no face? That's very peculiar. I can't say I've ever met anyone with no face before. Oh, except for Clayface. Such an odd gentleman, that one. No, my name is Question. And Alice, please, I need you to try and think for a moment. Have you been in contact with a man called Tech? Tech, 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 Techie, Tech, Tech, Tech. I'm sorry, but I don't think I've ever heard of a Tech. Is he a card or a bird? He's certainly not a rabbit or a queen or maybe. What about the Mad Hatter? M mad, the the Mad ha the Mad Hatter, Hatter, Mad Hatter, Hatter, Mad. I give myself some very good advice. But I very seldom follow it. I give myself some very good advice, but I very seldom follow it. I give myself some very good advice, but I very seldom follow it. That did it. If I had a world of my own, everything, everything would be nonsense. Nothing would be what it is, because everything would be what it isn't, and contrarywise what it is, it wouldn't be. And what wouldn't be, it would, you see? A quote from Through the Looking Glass. If Luther wasn't Luther, then who would he be? Who would he be? Alice. Oh, my dear Alice. Question! Please tell me he's not supposed to be here! Get away from my Alice. Superman. Yes, Mr. Hatter. Actually, I was just on my way out. Way out. We have to leave. Quickly, please. No! Let go of me, Superman! You're supposed to be one of the good guys! Mad Hatter? Darling. Ah, there. That's much better. My dear sweet Alice, you're with me again, just as Luther promised. Come along, Superman. We have our end of the bargain to keep up. Batman, I think you were right. The Mad Hatter could be involved here. <sighs> what would Luther be if he wasn't Luthor? Voice recognition, Hatter. Voice recognition, Jervis Tetch. Hatter! 
Hatter! Lex, how many times have I asked you to update your security systems? I'll get right to that when it becomes relevant to my work. Have you finished your little errand? Ah, but of course. It was a breeze for the Man of Steel. Isn't she lovely, Lex? Hello, Mr. Luther. You never cease to sicken me, Hatter. Oh, phew. You don't understand true love. I don't have nor want to. What's the point of love when you can have power? This city needs Jervis a savior Patch. again, not some alien. Soon everyone will see Superman as he really is. The alien that abandoned them in their time of need. They'll have no choice. If they don't fall for my little ruse, then I always have a backup. But isn't this Metallo? A new and improved Metallo. I took a copy of Corbin's consciousness directly from the Strikers Island computer and uploaded it to the new and improved exoskeleton. A Metallo I'm perfectly comfortable with tearing apart. Activate. Lex! That looks... incredible! What did I miss? Not a thing. You're just in time for the show.